if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and notifications bell that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube make sure to like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching nerd guy news where all nerds collide these two villains have faced the x-men the fantastic four and even, yes, the mighty Avengers. And apparently, Marvel is bringing these two epic villains to the MCU. Let's talk about it. So I don't know exactly where to start, but I do know Dr. Doom will probably be the first primary person we should talk about. Dr. Doom in the MCU is going to be probably the most fantastic thing to happen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And the reason why I say this is because Dr. Doom has not only defeated multiple factions in the MCU, but he is the embodiment of what evil should be in the MCU. I like to compare Dr. Doom to Darth Vader. When you think of Dr. Doom, you think of Darth Vader. They're both, it's almost like poetic justice. Those two in comparison are like the, the embodiment of evil. And I really do believe that Dr. Doom is gonna be a great earthbound villain for the Marvel Cinematic Universe for all the heroes. Um, simply because he can be intertangible with so many factions in the MCU and so many factions in the comics like he has taken on all of them at once and defeated him so he's 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 a Thanos threat for Earth Earthbound and then it leads on to Galactus who can be a cosmic bound villain that can lead up to many different phases such as phase six since Marvel is planning on doing something even bigger than Infinity War but before we get there let's continue with Doctor Doom a little bit about Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom. This guy has been in the MCU probably lurking around somewhere, waiting for the right opportunity, waiting for the right moment until we get introduced to the Fantastic Four, of course. And I'm sure he's just this rich snob, you know, living in Latveria, you know, trying to, to help his people, apparently. And, you know, it's just we haven't really seen him yet. And I really do believe that his major plan is he's he's seen the Avengers, he's seen all these other things that are going on, and he wants to try to take control. He's going to try to do all that he can to take control, and especially if the Fantastic Four has already been in the MCU. I don't think we're going to get like an actual origin story with them. I think Doctor Doom is going to already kind of be set up in the MCU. It's just going to be like a kind of like a uh, uh, a backstory to him kind of like how Captain Marvel was in her movies but it's going to be like a backstory to Doctor Doom but guys Doctor Doom do you know how big this is Doctor Doom there's been times guys Doctor Doom is he's he's one of those characters and if you if you watch the very first Thor movie when Thor was explaining to Jane Foster that science and magic are basically the same Doctor Doom takes that straight from out of the book he takes science and magic, he mixes them together, and in reality, that is his weapon. Science and magic are one with him. So imagine how powerful he is. This guy can control magic, and this guy can control science. He manipulates them to create this certain chemical, certain reactions. Like he he knows he knows science and magic inside out. Not only that. He's also made a deal with Mephisto, which also kind of granted him some of those abilities and powers. So he knows how to window and deal around certain things. Like, hopefully, maybe within the whole Doctor Strange movie, we might actually get to see Doom and Doctor Strange react to each other. I'm sure we're going to get a cameo. I'm quite sure because Doctor Doom and Strange worked together before. They, they crossed paths before, but we'll say that for another video. But Doctor Doom in the MCU is going to be probably the most biggest thing ever. I mean, guys, think about this. He can easily take on the Fantastic Four. He knows their weakness. That's, their, that's one of their number one villains, Doctor Doom. The X-Men, 
Doctor Doom, he, he studies. He studies every single aspect, every single thing of each hero. He knows how to take on the X-Men. He knows how to break them apart. And when it comes to the Avengers, oh my God, Doctor Doom has dismantled them easily. He's, he's, he's like Batman. He can literally come up with a very intricate plan and execute it so beautifully that none of the heroes will ever see it coming. This is what makes Doctor Doom such an awesome villain. And for him to be an earthbound villain for the MCU, that's going to lay the groundwork for phase four, five and six. And then on top of that, he's not I don't think he's going to get defeated. Like, I'm sure we may see him get defeated in the MCU. And then, you know, he's going to come back somehow bigger, badder than ever. And he's going to make a team. He's going to he's going to he's going to confide in someone. And who else could Dr. Doom confide in? Who else could be on a more, more powerful cosmic level? Galactus. Galactus. Guys, this is what we've been waiting for for years. Ever since that horrible screw up of a mess of the Fantastic Four that Fox put together years ago, that was just absolute trash. But this Galactus, Marvel, Kevin Feige promised us that we're going to get the best characters that we ever have ever in the MCU. And I honestly think they're going to do Galactus some justice and more. He's going to be the Galactus that we've been wanting and tenfold. And I honestly believe that Galactus is going to be a way much bigger level, bigger cosmic level than Thanos. Um, just because of the fact, you know, with the Celestials, the Internals, you know, um, um, just 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 everyone, the Watchers, all of that stuff. Everyone is going to play a big, 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 huge, intricate goal in the MCU um, coming forward. And with Galactus, as I said before, he's one of the primary um, nemesis villain of the Fantastic Four. He has faced many other factions in the MCU. I mean, everyone, everyone. He has been a threat to Earth since the beginning of Marvel, since the beginning of just everything. So imagine Doctor Doom, Galactus teaming up. Think about this all the way in phase six. We could possibly get. Secret Wars right there. Do you guys remember that cartoon? Back in the 90s, Spider-Man, don't you remember when they first, they all first came together? That was like the very first ever MCU, like, big team-up thing for television, you know, back then. And it was like, it was Secret Wars and Spider-Man and Storm and all of them gathered on the moon. And Doctor Doom was, you know, trying to figure out what was what. And then, then you had the Beyonder who was behind this whole thing and Madam Web. Can you imagine how awesome that would be? Guys. I, I, I don't know what to say. I can't stress this enough. Marvel is going to give us everyone is is every there was there wasn't so much hype behind phase four because they revealed it. Because think about it, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. It all builds up. Don't you guys remember when phase one started? Everyone was like, Oh yeah, this this should be interesting. It it was it was a buzz. It, it made it made a buzz, it made great headline, but no one was like really, really super excited, you know, because it was still the beginning. But imagine, this is just this is just the beginning, guys. Phase four is just the beginning. Phase five is going to be epic. Phase six is going to blow us away. Literally into the cosmos. Guys, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what else to say. This is going to be the most incredible thing to ever happen in the MCU. Um and for Doctor Doom to be in the MCU, I mean, he's worked with Doctor Strange before. He's worked against Doctor Strange before. They they've teamed up against Mephisto when Doctor Strange made a um, made a bad deal with Mephisto, and they had to find a way to literally defeat Mephisto. Um, trying to, I think it was Doctor Doom's mother. It's in the comics. Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange teamed up together to get to try to get his mother back. And it just didn't work because his mother fell ill when Dr. Doom was trying to save him. And just like Johnny Cage, Dr. Doom made a deal with the devil. Almost cost him his life, his mother's life, everything. And it was up to Dr. Strange to team up with him. So I'm thinking, you know, honestly, I believe in Dr. Strange, we may get a cameo of Dr. Doom or a mention of Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom. Um, and with Galactus, he's always been out there. 
he hasn't been mentioned yet, but I honestly believe somewhere within phase four, there's going to be a mention or a glimpse of him somewhere, some something somewhere. And I honestly believe we may get it in the Doctor Strange movie. Or we might actually get it in the Eternals movie, considering it's a cosmic level movie. Anyway, guys, I don't know what else to say. This I'm just I'm completely I'm completely flabbergasted right now. I'm just I'm I'm totally don't know what to expect um, coming forward with the MCU, but I'm quite sure it's going to be a bright future. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notifications bell if you enjoy this content. This is something new I've been trying on my channel. I have myself a new microphone. Let me know how my voice sounds. Let me know if y'all guys actually like it. I'm recording off the HyperX Quadcast standalone microphone. It's very, very, very nice. I'll put a link down in the descriptions if y'all guys want to go pick one up from Best Buy or something like that or any electronic store. Um, but this is how I'm going to be doing my news broadcast podcast, whichever, whatever y'all guys want to see on this channel. This is how I'm going to be doing it from now on. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, again, thank you so much. Show me some love. I show y'all guys some love. I plan on doing some giveaways and stuff later on. If I can reach, if I can reach a thousand subscribers, guys. Share with your friends, share with your family. If I can reach a thousand, uh, thousand subscribers, I would do a, a special giveaway to someone on the channel. All you got to do is comment with your favorite superhero and their favorite, um, their favorite power, their favorite superpower, and I would do a giveaway. Um, I would do a raffle. I would go down the comments and I would do a raffle to see who wins. And if you're the lucky person, you guys would get something special from me from the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Stay super. And this is MGN Nerd Guy News, where nerds collide. Catch you next time.